Hello beautiful and welcome back to my channel and welcome to this video where we are gonna try out I have some new indie makeup, I have the new Melt, I have the new Blend Bunny, I have all of the lip oils We're just gonna be playing with some new indie makeup and see if any of this is worth picking up And if you haven't been here before, do consider subscribing because I do upload quite a lot of videos every week All about makeup, all about beauty, all about indie brands <laughs> I hope my makeup is looking okay. I put my makeup on and then I was so hungry that I didn't need it like a lunch break. <laughs> that is what happened. Okay, so we have a couple of things that I wanna be trying you. I have all the packaging here. We're gonna be trying the new Melt eyeshadow palette. It is called Electrip. I've already swatched this one and I will say I was a little bit worried about how it's swatched but usually melt is good quality so we'll see how that is i have some blush palettes by blend bunny cosmetics i have both of them this is the one that's a little bit more on the neutrally leaning one i have one of the liquid lipsticks from melt and i have the lip oils from blend bunny i will not be able to wear all of these because i want to be wearing the uh, liquid lipstick but i've already swatched the lip oils those are 12 dollars each on blend bunny cosmetics website you can use the code and jessica over at blend bunny and you will get 10 percent off if you want to order something from blend bunny cosmetics one of my favorite indie brands i did get sent that collection as pr but the two things from melt cosmetics i bought my Myself from the Mel Cosmetics website, all the things that I'm talking about in today's episode, I will put it in the description box in case you're interested. But this one, this is the Melt Cosmetics, this is in Sunburst, this is a metallic liquid lipstick, and it's in orange, and I love orange. It's a metallic liquid lipstick, I don't know how I feel about that, but I did see the owner when she was wearing it, one of the owners, and then she took it off, it's a stain underneath. So I was thinking, I'll start with putting this one on, we'll zoom in, I'll put on some blush, I'll do some eye makeup, we'll see how it is, and at the end I'll wipe it off and we can see if there's a stain before I try the oils on. That is metallic, that's my plan. It's very thin, very easy to apply. I just, metallic liquid lipsticks. I feel like I need one of those t-shirts. I still have the trend of metallic liquid lipsticks and what was that, 2017, 16? And... I didn't know we needed to see it again. I feel like R2D2 and not in a good way it's actually not making my teeth too too yellow but like this this isn't a vibe the or is this a vibe i'll keep it on or maybe it's like a like an 80s moment is that what it is like an 80s moment maybe that is like the the 80s were having a revival mid 2010s there i don't know we're gonna use some blush if you haven't been here before you might not know that i am a lover of orange makeup hence i bought this lip color even though i knew i didn't love like metallic lip but there is the juicy cheek face palette by blend bunny i'm pretty sure that these are 32 dollars each and this is the juicy one so this is the brighter one there's also one that's a little bit more of a muted one and that one is called the bare cheek ones and i will put that one up as well this one has a little bit more muted tones even though there's still some colorful ones here like there's purples and mauve and red and a couple of like terracottas as well this one is not as bright and not as bold and in your face as the juicy one and i do like this one and at first i was thinking i was going to use this as eyeshadows as well like these blush palettes but then i got the melt palette and i was like you know what we'll just do a video of both of them together because i love indie makeup so much it's like my favorite favorite thing i mean i even started an indie brand myself uh, so i think that what we're gonna do is i'm gonna mix these two shades the squeeze and the tangy because i love a yellowy orange leaning blush and a lot of you had asked me i'm just gonna mix these two together i'm not showing you anything i'm just dipping in between both a lot of you have asked me if i could uh, do like a video showing my favorite orange makeup and i did film a video that i'm gonna have when am i gonna have it pretty soon just talking about orange blush in a very fun way so i cannot wait to show you that um hopefully i'll be able to have it next week i mean i've already filmed it that 
palette is really pretty and I am just dipping in and I don't feel like it's overly pigmented. I love a glowy cheek. Like I am glowy blush for life. So for me, I always go over stuff like this with a highlighter. That's pretty. I really do like that. I feel like my like face just... Like I said, I put my makeup on and then I was like, oh my god, I'm hungry, I need a lunch break. And I feel like everything just fell apart. Should I see how the stain is now? Because I, I kind of want to put on... It is a little drying. I, I just really want to put a little oil on. I'm not sure if I want to... I, I feel so indecisive. Do we want to have a highlighter? We want to have a highlighter, right? Okay, let me get a highlighter, let me get some paper, and let's see if this is a stain because I'm dying to put a lip oil on. I was gonna save it until the end of the video, but I don't know how I feel about this together with the eyeshadow because let me actually, while we're talking about this, let me show you some swatches of this palette. This is the Lick Trip palette by Melt. This palette is almost $60. And I will say, I think the shimmers swatched really nicely. I've already swatched this one. They were very shimmery and sparkly, and that's the kind of formula that I like. I like a formula that's sparkly. I don't need glittery, but I, I like a sparkly formula. I feel like that one looks the most flattering on the eyes. But when I swatched this one, I didn't think the mattes swatched that amazingly, which surprised me because, like, for me, Melt has always been king of matte eyeshadows but it could also be that like this was the last thing that i swatched i've already swatched the blush palettes i've already swatched the lip oils and sometimes when you like swatch and wash and swatch and wash your skin becomes almost like it doesn't want to take any more powders like it is tapped out of like receiving powders so that could be the reason so we're gonna dig in and see how we feel about it but let me let me <laughs> but let me sort this robotic thing out okay so i have a makeup wipe Is that a... Hmm. I did have a lip liner on. So I'm guessing there won't be like a tint where I had the liner on. There's also still a little sparkle on here. How do I feel about that? There is a little tint on. It's actually kind of pretty. I don't mind it. I don't know about the spark. What possessed me to buy the sparkly, like metallic lipstick? What made me think, like, what was I smoking to think that that was gonna be good? It's because it was orange, and I was like bedazzled by the orange. Okay, so I'm putting the lip liner on again, and I do like a little popsicle lip when you're like a little brighter in the inner part. I actually do that sometimes with um, stains, so. I think that that looks really good. This is Squeeze, which is the orangey lip oil, and I have been dying, dying to try this. It smells super fruity, like a fruity drink. Very nice, and I like the doe foot. It's like a little bigger. Mm, 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 loving that. That is... absolutely delightful no real taste to it big big fan we're gonna do a little highlighter i'm actually gonna be using the powder highlighter by charlotte tilbury i actually mentioned this in my sephora recommendations for the sale that's upcoming or is it now no the sale is on friday and if you want to see some recommendations that video was live on was that yesterday i'm it's wild, like I don't know any times anymore. Time has lost all its meaning. If you wanna see what I recommend and what I wanna get in the Sephora sale, because I have quite the wish list, that video was live on Monday and I really liked the video. I thought it was a good mix of like new and old stuff. So I would recommend watching it if you're like thinking about participating in the in the thing imaging in the sale let me put actually a little bit more on the orange on sometimes i do that i put more blush on top of the highlighter because it makes this like the shimmery chic that i want 
Mm-hmm. So this is what I want. I want a shimmery chic. It's just, it's what I do. It's my journey. Let me put on a little bit of, oh, here it is. A little bit of eye primer. I'm using the one from Sigma still. I think Sigma's having a sale too soon as well. I'll put that in my community tab. They told me about like an upcoming sale, so keep your eyes open. Okay, I am of course going to be using my own brush set. This is the brand that I started. This is the five piece brush set by Cinch Beauty. I will of course link that down below. Thank you so much for all the reviews. If you have gotten your brushes and if you haven't left a review yet, I would love to see your review on the Cinch Beauty website. Um, I've gotten like 60 reviews so far, which is honestly, I am so happy about that. I'm gonna be using the EO2, which is the middle blending brush. And I'm gonna be using this red one over here. And yes, I did take off my nails because I hurt one of my nails and I need to give my uh, nails a little time to um, breathe. This one is Strawberry Fields. Uh, but yeah, thank you so much for all the reviews. I think it's crazy. Hmm. I think it's crazy that like 60 reviews seems like such a lot of reviews. I don't, I mean, immediate impression when I touch these mats because I thought that like, oh, maybe that's not true. Maybe that's not correct. But yeah, they're not as straight out of the gate pigmented as I am used to melt being. They don't feel as, they have as much substance as melt mats usually feel. These feel a little drier. And I just have the feeling that these are going to be the kind of mattes that don't layer. So I'm happy I started with the red. Yeah, I don't know. There's something about these. These are, according to me, just, just by feeling them and now by using the red, it is not the same kind of melt matte formula. The shimmers felt better than some of the ones I've seen in their palettes as of late. The mattes, not convinced. I want to do something red and blue. Did I say that? I haven't done something like that in a bit. So let me just put red all over. I'm just gonna blend on the edge a little bit. There is a like a peach shade in here and I really do like reds with peaches. Uh, it's actually one of my favorite color combos but I don't think I'm gonna do that for this look. I think I'm just gonna blend on the edge a little bit and I'm gonna switch to the EO4 and my favorite with the EO4 is just blending on the edge with no additional product and just softening this a bit. So I think uh, this is gonna be one of those looks that's trust the process. <laughs> so with the EO one, I am gonna be picking up the one that's called Galactic Love, which is this one here, and then I'm gonna do Blue Heaven. And I think I'm gonna just put these on the lid and blend them up into the inner part of the crease. And I am gonna be spraying these, and then I'm gonna put Probably I pick it up first on the brush and then I spray my brush and then I go in on the lid and I try to Make sure that I don't put an overly moist brush back into the pan Look at how beautiful that one is I think this is so pretty just trying to Make this as opaque and sparkly as possible. I think I'm gonna do this on about half the lid. I Really like how that is looking so I'm putting that on half the lid like that. Actually, let me let me just try and I'm not finish it up, but just show you the process. So this is Blue Heaven then, and again, spraying it. And then I'm gonna put the Blue Heaven on the inner part. And this one is not as opaque as the other one, but I still feel like it's swatched really beautiful. And this is what I'm saying that I'm gonna put it a little bit into the inner part of the crease as well, because I'm gonna meet up and feather it into the red here. And because I know that this one is not as opaque as the other one, I feel like it's gonna fade out beautifully. So I'm gonna leave it something like that. 
like this, I hope, I think. And then I'm taking the smallest little detail blending brush. This is the E05. And I'm gonna go into reefer right here. Oh my God, I saw, I don't know if you saw it, but Kaki made a video where she was trying out my brushes. Because these are my brushes. I work very hard on these. I'm gonna do this in the outer corner. And she was saying how impressed she was with the brushes because this was the first time that she was trying natural bristle brushes. And these are not natural bristle brushes. These are synthetic brushes made to emulate how a natural bristled brush will pick up a product, disperse a product, blend a product, because sometimes synthetic brushes can just be a little bit too smooth all the way to the end and just not work the same way as natural br bristle does. And it really made me feel like it was mission accomplished when she actually for real thought that it was natural bristle brushes because of how they felt and how they perform. And it was just really amazing to see. And it made me happy because like I have now done what I set out to do, which is to create really good high quality brushes that perform like a natural bristle brush would by still being a vegan brush. I'm putting on a little bit more on the red just where these meet. I mean, I like how this looks, but I'm not super convinced by these mats. I need to look at other people's reviews after this and see how other people feel about these because I never watch other people's reviews when I know I'm gonna do my own. But I don't know how I feel about this. Let me do a little red under my eyes as well. I think this is like, the look is done basically, but I kinda wanna do, I'm gonna do with a little detail brush. I am going to spray this as well and I'm going to put this on the lower lash line and just do like the blue here as well and maybe I'll do the blue in the waterline. Should I do this in the inner corner too? I feel like I have so much fallout. <laughs> Oopsie. I think I'll do this like like this, just a little bit. I mean, I like this look. I think it's really pretty. I think I ended up like where I would like to be with the look. But I will say these mats were not as easy to work with as what I am used to when it comes to, maybe not easy to work with per se, but I just expect more pigment. I just expect more pigment. And these weren't really 100% that. But I like where this is at. I think my favorite is the, is the lip oil. I think that's the one I like the most. I'm gonna do a little bit of this House Labs. I think this is in Cobalt Matte. And I think this will be perfect. This probably should be sharpened. Yeah, but like, let's ignore that. Actually, let's not ignore that because that was really hard. <laughs> yeah, that, that really did something. That really did something for the look. I love the juicy lips with it, the orange cheeks, the red with the blue. I love that I put blue on waterline. I feel like that did, I don't wanna say a difference because I, I loved it before as well. I really like this look even though it took a little bit more effort than I'm used to melt being, but I'm gonna put a half lash on. Yeah, I'm gonna put a half lash on and that's gonna be the look. I feel like a little rock and roll with like my straight hair and like denim shirt and I don't know, there's, there's, I, I don't know. <laughs> Maybe it's more like an 80s thing with the eye look and everything, I will say. Okay, let's start with the Blend Money Cosmetics. So far, I'm only using the blush ones. I think the quality is nice. I think the color selection is nice. I will always gravitate towards a shimmery blush over a matte blush. But if you think there have been way too many shimmery blushes as of late and you like a matte cheek, you might really enjoy these. I didn't think there was anything wrong with the quality, but I will always go over with something shimmery. I just prefer how a shimmery cheek looks on me. The lip oil, this one, this one in Squeeze. Mmm, it is so pretty and especially with that little tint underneath It just turns so juicy really like it. I cannot wait to try the other colors on 
like how they feel, like how they wear. It hasn't been bleeding, it didn't disappear during the the like hour and a half that I've been sitting here and they don't taste like poison like some other lip oils that came out recently not mentioning names rare beauty okay I don't know who Melt's customer is anymore like a liquid lipstick uh, this eyeshadow palette I definitely think there's been a formula change I think the mattes are slightly worse the mattes were immaculate before now they're good okay not amazing the shimmers i really like i really like the shimmers i think they're beautiful they swatch beautiful they're sparkly they're wonderful didn't think they were hard to pick up at all the color story is just a little and like a liquid lipstick and they also released this with a body glitter i'm just like i feel like melt and i we're like best friends that grew apart and it's like i don't know if it's you or if it's me but we're not jiving anymore i just I don't know. They released a $40 body glitter with this collection. I don't I don't know who's excited about that. And then the metallic liquid lipsticks. I'm sure there are people. I mean, I'm sure they're doing things that sell, otherwise they wouldn't still be doing here. I guess that Melt knows their customer. I'm just kind of realizing that I don't know if that's me. I don't know if that's me anymore. Like I didn't like how the liquid lipstick looked on me. The other liquid lipsticks that were metallic was like a bright blue and a bright green and nothing against that. It's just, that's not me. And the eyeshadow palette, the color story, it's nice, but it's like a little, I don't know. It, like, it's just, it's like it's holding back for no obvious reason because it's an electric palette and I just feel like it's electric, but make it grandma. I don't, I don't know. There's something about Melt. We're not jiving anymore. And maybe, maybe it's just time for me to realize that this is a $60 palette. And there are so many other palettes. There are in this price range from brands whose color stories and formulas are just a little bit more up my alley. And maybe, maybe I shouldn't be reviewing Melt anymore. I don't know. I don't know. I just, I've been with Melt from the almost absolute very beginning. I remember buying their first eyeshadow stacks at release, being so excited. I reviewed the, like the neon stack on my channel. Like I just, I think I bought their eyeshadows before I even had like a YouTube channel. I just, I don't know. I don't know. I don't know what happened. We grew apart. I think we grew apart. And I need to watch other people's reviews because I think there's been a formula change. Okay, I hope this was somewhat helpful. Please let me know what you think down in the comments. I hope you're having an absolutely amazing day and I will see you again, I think on Thursday, for a full face of Moira. I finally have been trying Moira. We are gonna see if it's as good as people say it is because people have been hyping this brand up. Bye!